Okay, we have our uh, F trim in place here and we're ready to start uh, installing our uh, vented soffit here. So we have our vented soffit uh, trimmed and ready to um, install it here. So basically what I've done is I've taken a measurement from our wall um, to the face of our fascia here and I had eight inches, which makes sense. We had an eight inch overhang. Um, and then I've um, pre-cut our um, soffit panels to length. Um, so if we have eight inches, I usually subtract about a half inch and I think I cut these right at um, seven and a half, which I did. Um, and I do that just because it'll give us a little bit of play here. Um, one thing, um, sometimes the F, F trim doesn't sit tight to the wall. Um, looks like we're pretty good all the way along here. Um, but then we also have um, some material thickness of the F trim itself. Um, so I take a little bit um, into account there. And then I like to be able to um, sit back from the edge here just a little bit um, because we're gonna have our fascia coming over this. Um, and I don't like anything sticking out from there. So I just take about a half inch off and that's about the right amount uh, to be able to have some extra play. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the piece of soffit and put it into the F trim. And then I bring it back just a little bit so it's pretty flush with the front. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and screw these into place. Um, so what I like to use, um, you can use two different types of fasteners. I have pan head screws. I like to use screws the best, um, but you can also use these um, trim nails. Uh, these, we're gonna use these in a little bit to do our fascia. Um, the reason why I don't like to use them for um, soffit is because you pretty much, well you do, you have to nail in this groove here. Um, and it's, it's simple enough to get that nail um, flush with the um, flat part of the soffit here, but you wanna try to get that nail all the way up into that groove. And the only way to do that is to use a nail set. Um, and you can do it, it's just a little time consuming. So I like to go ahead and use these little half inch pan head screws. They fit nice and tight into um, this groove here and it holds it up um, quickly. So what we wanna do with this first piece here before we screw it up is to take our speed square. One, we're gonna make sure we're flush with the outside of our soffit box here. Um, but we, more importantly, wanna make sure that we are square to our F trim here. If we don't do that, um, as we go on down our run here, basically the front part of our soffit might stick out um, past our uh, fascia board and the back part might be behind it. Um, so we just wanna make sure that we're nice and square to the um, F trim and that'll make sure the rest of our uh, pieces go in um, nice and neat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in one screw, again, I'm screwing in this groove of this uh, soffit piece here. I'm also staying out towards the edge of the, um, towards the fascia. And I'll explain that here in a second. All right, so the reason why I stay out towards the edge, um, these screws are small enough that it's not gonna split out. Um, but what's gonna happen later is we're gonna put our fascia on here and we're gonna need some surface area to be able to drive that nail up in there. Um, so if we put that screw right in the direct path of that nail, we're gonna hit it every time. And um, when it comes to finish, you don't wanna have a whole bunch of holes trying to find a spot where the screw isn't. So I just keep that screw all the way out towards the edge of this uh, piece of soffit. Um, and it just works out better later. So um, you don't have to do all three grooves um, but I do like to um, just get the first one and then the last one, and then I don't worry about the, um, the middle one. These screws are more than enough to hold us up. So I'm gonna check one more time that we're square with our F trim. Just shift it a little bit, all right. And then screw this last groove here. All right, so 
We have our first panel in here. I'm gonna go ahead, I got all of our panels pre-cut. I'm gonna grab another one here. Um, and if you look closely at these panels, there's one edge here that's just um, basically the tongue. Then there's this other edge that has a groove. This tongue uh, fits into the groove of this side. Um, so I've placed it so the groove is facing um, the direction that we're installing our um, soffit. Now this piece will then just be able to slide into that piece um, and it'll basically make um, the same groove that's um, the rest of the, the same as the rest of these three on this piece. Um, so one thing I like to do is if you have a pair of tin snips handy, um, is to just snip the corners. Um, it's just gonna help um, to take those two corners off to be able to slide it into this next piece. If those corners are there, a lot of times that corner will catch um, and you'll just have a harder time getting that piece in. So basically we just slide it into the F trim and then we get that tongue into that groove there and make sure that it's pushed back nice and tight. Um, since we got this one square, we know that this one should be technically pretty square. Um, but it's a good idea maybe every two or three to just check. So I'm gonna run a couple um, and then I'll check for square again. So again, we're just putting two screws in here. And the first one staying all the way out to the fascia edge. And we'll put a second screw in. Okay. So we just keep going like that until we get to the end. Um, one other thing I'd like to mention about these soffit panels is they basically act like an accordion. Um, so what you wanna try, um, try and do is when you put them in and butt them up to the next piece here. Oh, I'm going over here. When you butt them into that next piece, you don't want to force this piece over too much um, and skew it, because then you have a bow here. When you skew that up, it'll be tight to the soffit, but we've created some coves here, and you're really gonna see that when you put your fascia up to this. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna get it into that groove, but then you wanna just let it um, sit there and just kinda lightly push it up um, so you're not pinching these and they stay nice and flat. Um, and that'll just create a nicer finish when uh, we put the fascia on. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this whole length doing that same, uh, same procedure of putting one in, screwing the first and last groove, um, and then checking for square about every uh, two or three panels.